Tim and I will be talking about tipping points and innovation, but we start with the KPMG's third annual Consumers and Convergence Survey. It showed that in the UK, approximately 60% of consumers would rather watch adverts in return for online content than pay for it, although globally, more consumers wanted to pay than watch. I asked Tim how he would sum up the health of the mobile advertising space. It's a fledgling industry. It's very, very young and only seriously really been around for sort of two or three years. If you ask a consumer, do they want something for free, they'll say yes. So we make an automatic association that um, it's great, we can put advertising alongside content and give it away for free. And I'll come back to sort of look at that and say, what we also make this association with negatively is that, well, actually then consumers don't want um, advertising alongside content that they pay for. And you hear a lot of the times, this is a premium service, we don't want advertising. But if we look at that in other mediums for a second, the argument doesn't exist. So the idea that consumers won't pay for content and accept advertising is not a proven model in any other form of media. And there seems to be this thing that because online historically has been more of a free medium being ad funded, that therefore it should continue down that route. So how important is it that you encourage people to, to take a fresh look at advertising? Not, maybe not necessarily becoming content providers, but looking at what will engage on a mobile. For me, it comes back to the consumer. It's about how does a consumer engage and use mobile devices for media and entertainment. A lot of people sit there and think, you know, that there's TV advertising, newspaper advertising, magazine, and online. It's the wrong thought. You know, the thought should be that there's TV advertising, magazine advertising, and then saying online, there's search. Then you know, there's video. Then there's social networks. And then there's sort of, you know, um, blogs and that. And actually, all of those independent verticals within online advertising are independent mediums that you have to have an understanding of as much as you have to have understanding of TV advertising. Now, many times, of course, uh, brand managers want an integrated campaign across uh, TV, uh, radio, online, the spectrum online you mentioned there, and mobile. Um, but ultimately, what the, they, they want to know is, did that campaign affect my brand equity? How does mobile provide those key metrics? Um, it's, a, um, it's an emerging challenge, really, for the mobile industry in terms of doing that. The immediate thing for me um, in my daily role is to look at research and studies, and I know Comscore have done quite a good one, and about the, the brand lift or the exposure lift that using mobile alongside online can add to a campaign. So, you know, maybe it adds 10, 12 points of um, extra exposure, extra engagement to it, and to a slightly different audience as well. It's vitally important that we show how mobile works within the wider remit of sort of the ecosystem. But it mustn't just be seen as the... Um, it, it, it shouldn't just be seen as a way of um, validating mobile. The, you know, mobile itself is such an important medium that it has a lot of attributes in its own right as a standalone medium. It shouldn't just be, oh, I can use mobile with my TV. It, there must be options for it to do. And, and in that, then we just demonstrate more and more about how users are engaged with mobile devices. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.